Arizonans are beginning to feel the benefits of a new government lifeline for troubled homeowners. In tonight's Real Estate Report, Frank Camacho shows us why people are praising HARP 2.0. Frank. Well, Patty, HARP is an acronym for Home Affordable Refinancing Program, and it has saved one Scottsdale man nearly $1,000 a month on his mortgage payment. Oh, it's all the way around win-win, yeah. Lee McGee is singing the praises of HARP 2.0. It's a program designed to help strapped homeowners stay in their homes. It has three basic requirements. If the property or if the, the, the loan is uh, owned or guaranteed by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, uh, about 56% of them are, um, and uh, assuming that they uh, have been making their payments on time, uh, and have the income to qualify for it. Lee McGee met all three requirements and was surprised at how smoothly his application was processed. Yes, when it said government, uh -huh. yeah, uh, we expected to find a lot more um, red tape and things that we'd have to do to, to give them more information. However, it was pretty much a standard loan. In fact, a standard 30-year loan, which ended up saving McGee $900 a month on his house payment. It means that we're able to be able to afford our other amenities and not have to overextend ourselves. If we can get this loan, it's, it'll save our home. HARP is not a short-term band-aid. It is designed to provide a permanent solution to the problems of desperate homeowners. The HARP program, the loans, are real loans. Uh, they were put into place so that people could take advantage of the, the historical interest rates uh, and or fix their possibly adjustable mortgage to a fixed rate. Only mortgages originated before May 31st, 2009 are eligible. Second mortgages may also qualify as long as they are guaranteed by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. I'm Frank Camacho, 3TV. Thank you, Frank.